this is where I'm going to plant my potatoes in today. I've got a few of these baskets. So this year I'm trying it this way. You can stand them wherever you want them because of course yours is in there so you don't have to necessarily use the space in your garden. And I've got a small garden so this is great for me to then have it wherever I want to, even if I put it on the grass or even if I put it on some piece of stone. I'm going to use a long metal stick. And then I use this flame and heat this up. And when it's nice and hot, take it and stick it through the bottom. As you can see, I put a couple of holes into my lovely basket, so quite a few, so the water can uh, run out quite quickly. But as you can see, the sides have really, really big holes, so I have to take a plastic bag. It's to take as a bin bag, just put it in all around the sides and put the top over. Now, then you can either poke the holes through now or you can wait a little bit longer until you have the earth spread in so you've got a little bit of ground and it doesn't uh, rip. So it's up to you or you can just um, get a sharp object and um, stick a couple of holes in. Sides. The holes aren't too big, but you cut a couple of holes, and you can do that later on when the earth goes higher, so the water always rinse out and doesn't get stuck in the bag. But it's totally up to you how you do it. Just remember not to forget it. Okay. On the bottom you can make a couple of bigger holes. Of course you've got the plastic layer on the bottom. Stretch it out again. And you should be fine to go. Right, then I've got some earth from the compost, which is nice and fluffy and very nutritious. And I'll put that in the bottom. Remember, potatoes are growing up. So you don't need to put that much earth in the bottom because your potatoes will grow up a little bit more just so that they get started and that should do. Now the only thing you do get your potato and you can see they have really nice spots up. Now a lot of people will actually take the others off so just leave one on. But I recently just watched another video from a guy who's very, very successful with growing potatoes. And he said, just put the potato in as it is. You could also, if you want some more, cut it in half so you get more potatoes. But as you can see, I've got plenty of potatoes over here. Um, I think they will do me fine. So I'm going to put my potato in here with a spot up. Make sure you've got us underneath it. And I'm trying in this one to put the same variety, so I can put in quite a few. So a lot of people say put them 18 centimeters away from each other, so 18 inches to 18 centimeters. So that's about this much, but in here I could actually put three potatoes and they should give me quite a good crop. Also when they grow a little bit higher, some people say if you grow it up because you've got to fill it with earth as soon as you see green spots coming out you fill it with earth again as soon as you go higher fill it with earth and so on so you get more and more potatoes but you could also put another layer of potatoes in hiring if you wanted to and there we go so I've got three nice potatoes in there the distance is far enough away so we'll still get a few spots so don't worry 
if you think I might not get enough, but I will definitely get enough from this. Right, and then I fill it with earth again. cover them so they are completely covered remove some stones which were still in there and I have to get a little bit more compost um, to fill this up to the top so literally you just fill it up so the spots are covered so up to about here so I need to get a little bit more compost we go adding some more compost now it's just filled up to the top and here and there we go and now I let them grow and when it starts so when I see first green sprouts to come out green little tops then um, I will add some more. Here we go, my little pumps around each one. <laughs> Might even need some more. So there we go, this is all covered. So when I see the first green spots coming up, um, I then will cover it with more earth. I actually got some more earth and I covered it with a little bit more because I still struggle to cover up that one potato on one side. So here we go. Now it's all definitely covered. All stones have been removed. It's all nice, fluffy, composty earth. So, and here we go. I'm going to spray a little bit of water over the top now. And then I put it to a place where this can grow. And I will not have to remove it anymore because this will get really, really heavy. Just be aware of that if you're planting in a pot. That was my cats in the background. So don't worry, they're just playing. One of them always has to make us noises. And there we go. And that should do. Not too much. It will sink through. Go through the basket, through the holes at the bottom and uh, give enough water to the potatoes to grow. As you can see, I've got plenty more potatoes over here. So I've got to find a lot of spaces in my garden um, to plant those. I'll keep you updated. I will keep you updated on the progress of how my potatoes are doing. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.